I want to tell you about a woman called Winifred Atwell. She came to the UK from Trinidad in 1946 to study the piano at the Royal Academy of Music, where she became the first ever woman to receive the Academy's highest level of distinction for musicianship. By 1954, she became the first ever black recording artist to have a UK number one, and remains to this day the only female instrumentalist to have had a number one in the UK charts. In addition to recording and concert performances, Atwell became a TV star, hosting her own show on both the BBC and ITV, something completely unprecedented at the time. She was also the first black person in the UK to sell over a million records, and she did so with three consecutive releases. Between 1952 and 1960, she had 11 top 10 hits, and in this time, Lloyds Bank insured her hands for £40,000 on the one condition that she never did the washing up. So, how come most people have never heard of her? Each of these achievements alone are significant, but together they present a picture of a truly phenomenal individual. In my work, I've explored how Winifred Atwell achieved this amazing success, and what has happened since then to render her virtually invisible from the history books and public consciousness. From this, we can see much bigger patterns of how people become erased from history, and this leads me to explore questions surrounding what we get taught about, what we don't get taught about, why that is, and what impact this has on us, on our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Learning about extraordinary women from the past is crucial for empowering women today and changing our perceptions of what women are capable of. It also helps us all to think critically about histories we've been taught and wonder who else is out there that we don't know about and how might we begin to learn about them. I'd love to tell you more about Winifred Atwell, but also to encourage everyone to question our understanding of history and find out who else might be missing, why that is, and for us to tell the world about them too.